In this lesson, we are going to be displaying posts from the database. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is come to our resources, views, post, index.blade.php, and we're going to set up a table that we're going to use to display the post. So we're going to have a table with a class of table. And then here we're going to have a table head and a th. This is going to have the title, or actually, it should have the image. And then we should have the title of the blog post so that's those are the two we're gonna have for the beginning and then here we're gonna have a table row for each of the posts from our database which means that we need to fetch the post so i'm gonna come to post controller and right here in the index method instead of just returning post.index i'm going to return with post and here i'm just gonna say post so we are fetching all the posts from our database and we are passing it with this post key which means in our t body we can do a for each of the post as post and for each and here we're just going to have a table rule and we're going to have a td and this is going to be for the image we're going to get back to that in a second and the second cd or the table data is going to be for the post title so if we refresh this page right now, you can see we have two posts in our database. But what we want to do is display the image for this specific post right here, right? Let me show you something. If we come here, I'm just going to print out post image. And if we refresh, you can see we have a string that represents the link to the post. Okay. So I think I have some dummy posts from a testing that I was performing before the lessons. I'm just going to drop that by running add migrate refresh. That's going to delete all my database rows and then clear everything up. I'm just going to refresh, register with a new account, and then create some post, upload an image, a beautiful image we could use. Great. Awesome. So this is how the post should be coming from our database at the moment. Okay. So post then the hash of the image and if we go to our storage folder storage app public post you can see the newly uploaded hash right here awesome so how are we gonna get the image to display let me show you something the first thing i need you to know is the storage folder is secure the public folder is the folder where we keep all assets like css javascript svg and images so if we ever want our image to display, we need to move it to the public folder. But Lavo provides us with a simple command that we can use to do that. And it's called add storage link. And remember, remember, this is PHP Addison. I just have a shortcut so I don't have to type that all the time. So if we run PHP Addison storage link, you can see the public storage directory has been linked. And what Lavo does is it links the storage public folder right here to the public folder up here so you can see now we have public slash storage and then we have post and our post has been moved up here so don't forget to run the php addison storage link command when you want to display images from the storage public folder down here okay so now that we have that linked we can use an image tag as such and I'm just going to put post image right here. If I refresh, of course, we can see the image displayed. Okay. So the source of the image is post image, but we really do not want it to be like this. What we want to do is give this a width of maybe 60 pixels and a height of maybe 60 pixels. If we refresh, great. We can see that the image is much smaller. We probably want to give that a larger width like 120 because of the dimensions of the images so that looks great but if i show you something right now let's view the page source if you check out the image you can see we just have post slash this which is not the best way to go for every asset in your laval application if you can check up here to see how laval linked the css file it's actually a full complete path Okay, so that we can link to the image from anywhere. 
so right now if somebody copies this url and pastes it right here you can see that we don't see the image right but if i copy this url and paste right here you can see we actually see the css file okay so what we want to do is here we're going to use the asset method and this asset method gives us a full path to the asset that we are trying to assess so if i refresh right here we have exactly the same thing and if i refresh here you can see that it gives us a fully generated path to our resource okay so that we can copy this image and actually preview it in the browser okay awesome so we have a full path to our image so right here we just have asset and then post image awesome so now we can actually display the image from our database so we have image and then we have the title probably we want to have some actions so let me just add another t heading and here i'm going to add a t data and here we're going to have an a dot button dot button info and this is simply going to say edit okay so if i refresh you can see we have our edit button right there i'm also going to give this a button small class so that the button is a little smaller then i'm going to duplicate this and this is going to be danger and it's going to say trash so if i refresh this right now you can see we have edit and we have trash okay so we also want to include the t heading for the trash button great so we have edit and trash now what is the trash going to be the trash is going to be a way for us to trash post without necessarily deleting them permanently from our database and i'm going to teach you all about trashing in the very next lesson